a good start to the season for the team, but um, how would you rate your season so far personally? <laughs> um, it's disrupted, you know, pretty much disrupted. I, I think I didn't really have a pre-season, you know, and coming off the back of last year, I think that's the, the most games I've played in my career, to be honest, in the season. So, you know, it might have taken its toll on me, you know, obviously in pre-season as well when I came back. You know, I was injured for like two weeks, so, you know, coming into Norwich, you know, I was nowhere near fitness. It was almost like I gained fitness and lost it in a week, so um, that was a difficult time. And obviously, you know, my father passing away, that made it even harder, you know, because now it's um, the role that I've got to take up in my family, you know, where I'm the, the oldest male, so, you know, a lot of things have changed, you know, and obviously I'm getting used to it slowly, but, you know, I didn't really think it affected me on the pitch, to be honest. But you know, looking at clips and stuff, I'm not really, I wasn't really playing the way that I think I should be playing. You know, and I think uh, against uh, United, the last 20 minutes, you know, I started, you know, playing the way that I see myself playing, and you know, and the way I carry on, I should be playing, anyways. One game that came middle, in the middle of that tough time for you was the Chelsea game. Did it yeah. really help the support from the manager and Jose yeah, Mourinho? Yeah, um, um, definitely. I, I, don't know, was, I think that game as well, you know, from what I remember, you know, I was up and down and I was at it. You know, but otherwise, um, it's been a really slow start, but I'm not too worried. I think I've always been a slow starter. I think this time last season, you know, when I think back, you know, I think I was just playing games. To be honest, I weren't really up to speed until about, you know, the, the end of November, I would have said. But now I feel like I'm coming back into my own, you know, obviously, you know, when I'm doing repetitive sprints, you know, I'm not really getting as tired as quick as I was earlier in the season. I think from the games that we've seen, you know, um, I come off at Arsenal at half time, <laughs> um, you know, because um, Obviously the guy for four hours um, looking and fit, you know, but he just wanted to play me to get some minutes in. So you know, it's been pretty much a build up to where um, I want to get personally. You're doing lots of work with John Salako on finishing this season? Um, yeah, I've been doing finishing, but to be honest, I don't really want to just concentrate on my finishing because then what I think that does to me as a player is it takes out my other side of the game because if you just think you want to score, you want to score, you want to score, you don't. You don't play the game that I was playing last season. You know, I want to play the game that I played last season and add the goals, which means it's just a little bit more concentration when I'm around butts because I will get chances like I did last season, to be honest. Liverpool coming up next. Um, had lots of good games against them, the 3-all draw, the 3-1 where yeah. Mila exploded and then last season at Anfield. Obviously at Anfield you remembered for the floor swipe but it was a complete game wasn't it? You won the free kick for punch to score, you crossed it in for Wilf. Yeah, I think um, the game, that, that game, the only thing that was missing obviously was a goal and then I did have a chance, you know, I hit the crossbar. Um, hopefully this time I can rectify it.